this is going to be my survival bug out vehicle. The uh, the trip that's coming up is going to be up in the Catskills and it's going to be a bug out scenario where we have grid down uh, economy collapse scenario and I grab my bug out bag my truck and whatever happens to be with me my goal right now is to build a bed in here just a, a piece of wood going across and in an L shape in the front something that's removable so if I want to work with the truck I can still haul stuff This is, I gotta measure this so the bed lays on here. The frame is gonna lay on here. I pulled Joe off the uh, solar panel pass for a minute to um, assist me. This is going to be a slide together two part bed frame for the back of the truck. It's gonna be so cool when it's done. Uh, the two pieces are gonna slide together and lock into place without any screws or extra tools and I'll be able to sleep up there and then I'm making my shelf for the back right now as he's doing my bed frame I'm making the shelf for the back at the same time this is going to be done quick easy and it's going to be pretty awesome all right all right it's going to work it's all right it's comfortable it's just it's just one screw pull this one screw right here and they both come apart do I need that screw? Um, it might move around on you when you're sleeping. Ah, okay. You I like it. So there's my bed. That's a two-piece bed that's removable. And uh, wait, stay where you were, because what I was thinking is oh, eventually even making a uh, see where you're sitting. Later on, if I have time, putting a bench over there. I mean, that is halfway comfortable. It's only half a bench still where you're sitting. Yeah. I just got to finish this shelf and drop that in. All right. I have my old camper toilet I ripped out of the old the old uh, camper before I made my composting toilet. And uh, I took the seat off, and I found a piece of plywood, and that's sitting on a bucket. And I'm going to make a composting toilet that slips in to the corner back in there. Which, of course, I can just uh, use outside or wherever, but I've got myself a composting toilet. So my survival vehicle will have a toilet. And running water. Let's go see your running water, by the way. Yeah, well, let's work on this. Let's see what you got. There's, there's the sink that's going to be in my truck. I mean, this is actually inspiring. Imagine how many people are losing their homes, and I'm showing people how to build a house in a day. Seriously. House in a day in a truck? With, and what's the cost? Uh, I think we spent $2 today on, on this tubing. Okay. We'll see, we'll see. We've got a 12-volt water pump out of a car. There it is. We've got running water. Let's get this out where you can <coughs> see it. This is a um, windshield washer pump. Look at that. Running water. Cool. All right. Now I have toggle switches. I'll give you one and you can finish my table for me if you don't mind, please. Yeah. Awesome. Trying out my toilet. Uh, feels pretty good. Before I do it and cut it, and fit it, but I think I got myself a toilet here. What do you think? Looks good. Yeah. Beat squatting over a log. Yeah, that's gonna be the most comfortable bug out vehicle in the world with a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> We're cutting my toilet seat out. Joe's a lot better with a sawzall than I am, so I let him have the honors. My light sitting up here on my shelf. I'm hooked up. This is nice. I mean, this is really good. And then I discovered something. I didn't even plan this, right? But I discovered my table is movable I can bring it right up here and I can work on my computer because the, the ceiling lowers here I can't really sit here so it's high enough to sit up here comfortably I can bring my laptop I mean I can bring this all the way over to the middle of the uh, the uh, truck and I can work on my laptop here 
This is great. I can read a book. I can I can write notes. I can do whatever I want here. I mean, this is nice. I'm gonna have to put a leg on the middle here later. I still have to put that up. But I love it. Look at this, and it's just drop in. Move it back. This is going to be the ultimate survival vehicle. I, this is really ni looking nice. Um, by the time we're done, the end of the weekend, this is going to be a really good bug out vehicle. Now I'm going to slip my toilet in place. The toilet slips in out of the way. Slide it all the way to the front. Now I need it. And that stores nicely in there. Right up in the corner underneath the front shelf. And then wherever I set up camp, I can slide that toilet out and uh, take it outside and leave it. Or I can use it inside as needed. There it is, a uh, composting toilet inside my bug out survival truck. My water jugs, I'm not sure if they'll fit up in here into the shelf or not. Oh, look at that. Look at that, the water jug fits right underneath there. So I've got my five gallon water jug, slips right under there. I've got two of them actually. There's my other five gallon jug. So now I've got uh, 10 gallons water capacity in here. And uh, I'll have it, I'll have this totally decked out for the survival outing by the end of tomorrow. It's looking nice. I really think this is cool. Grab the waste bucket and bring the rest. Well, the professionals have finished the mobile sink. Pretty cool looking. Here you go, Troy. You oh, I get the, all right, you, you gotta demo run the out, camera. Demo out your, uh... Oh, yeah, see? This is what I wanted because I hate standing in a sink Kill your life. over, breaking your back. Uh, I, I can't stand when you're washing dishes and your back starts to hurt. So, I wanted to work in comfort, just like this. I like it. Now, uh, we got a power switch here. No do. There's no power. I we need, need a, battery. a battery. I need a battery. How am I supposed to test it? <laughs> Ready? All right, theoretically, it's looking good, though. We got a power switch here. And uh, you know what? How hard is it to put some little terminals on a the battery? They're set up, they're stripped, they're ready to go. Just get a battery over here and we'll let you run it. I'll get us a battery. Let's have some fun and wash some dishes. That's where that's going to go. And then the solar panel will stick up here. I'll figure that out. There's no water in your bucket down there. Oh, you're right. Get some water quick. Prime it? It's sucked air. It's running. Is it under the water? It's having trouble sucking. Is it running? It's running. Here. It's too much. Well, let's see if it works. Power switch here. Yeah, look at that. I can wash my hands. I needed that too. Nice. Running water on demand. gallon capacity down here. 
You gotta pull that, it's draining in the bucket. Dripping into the bucket. Perfect. So we got the uh, water recovery. We got the main reservoir down here. In the, uh, the green bucket is the main reservoir. We got a little battery. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna hook up a solar panel and a charge controller for that. And then we got the uh, recovery because water is valuable off the grid. Awesome. Don't Running water on demand. Water the huh? Water the yeah, right through the faucet. It's great. Yeah, I mean this is like this is gonna be an awesome uh, bug out vehicle. Because that's exactly I'm gonna take this unit and slip it up into the into the vehicle. And uh, when I bug out and when I get to this, my uh, wherever I'm staying, I pull out the toilet and I can pull out the sink and the chairs. And I'm hooked up. I got my home with me. I'll have everything I need. This is good. I got the solar panel that I'm taking with me on the survival trip running through, hooked up to a charge controller. This was my charge controller I had left over from uh, eBay that time. And let me focus. It's happily charging the battery right now. And uh, I'll probably put up some kind of a voltmeter on here later. But uh, it's looking good. Battery bank is down here. Underneath I'm going to build a, a little bit of a wooden frame to put down there just so they don't bounce and around all over when I'm driving. And um, I've got enough wire here so I can run that solar panel quite a distance away uh, wherever I'm parked to be able to get maximum sunlight. And it's working well so I'm going to leave this going. This thing will take care of the batteries for me. Make sure they're topped off well. And uh, I got quite the work set up here. All the tools set up in my bed. Uh, I'm also going to take my little battery um, jump starter pack here with me, um, but that's just uh, something you should always have with you when you're on the road anyway for emergencies. And I have to get, I'm going to have a cigarette lighter plug on here as well for uh, 12 volt power. And then I still have to wire up my lights right here. But it's looking good so far. There we go. Nice bench. And also quick removable. Look at that. I like it. Very simple. And uh, is it rugged? Is it going to hold us? Whole truck moves, but the bench doesn't. That works. That's good. <laughs> All right. Give it a shake in the wobble test. Looks good. Now, uh, I don't know if there's going to be room for a table in here, to be honest, between us. I don't know. Let me set this up. Hold on. Uh, so let me see here. Uh, size this up for the table. So if we have a table... Actually, <laughs> you can almost sit it on your legs. Yeah, <laughs> The only thing I could ever possibly need extra is some cushions behind my back. I'm going to have to get to go to the dollar store and find some cushions or something. Yep. you got to have it cozy. Got to. I, I, I go out, when I do my survival, I'm talking about comfort, not... I'm not yeah. a uh, primitive living... Well, you saw my rough in it. Yeah, I know. You know? Well, that's how I rough it. I don't know. What do you think? i got to figure out. Maybe it, just a little bit like this. Yep. And then, um... That'd be good. I'm thinking, I'm thinking something where if we put, if I put, uh, I love the idea of bolts and wing nuts, mm -hmm. right? Four bolts, whatever you build, whatever, whatever it is, four bolts or wherever, and wing nuts on the bottom. And then put this thing flat, lay it on the bed for transportation. You see, you see what do you want? Thinking? A little rack like this? No, uh, the this that's, that's not high enough. The no, no, no. Actually, two F4 on the on the, flat, on the edge would do it. Mm, oh, are you thinking like? Wait a minute. Now you got me thinking. Wait a minute. How about? Oh, that won't reach. Oh, I was thinking about. Yeah, to do that. Uh, so it. Nah, I don't think that'll work actually. But. But it won't be centered. If we, we, if we can center it. That long anyway. Something we could center here, right? That uh, is quick 
quick takedown mm. with uh, two four bolts and wing nuts. Pop them apart, pop the legs over in here, pop the tabletop in here, and uh, hit the road. See the smoke? I'm thinking. <laughs> What do you think? Though? I mean, is it's uh, got potential, right? It's getting smoky in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I don't. Know. I'm thinking instead of the four control. corners, you're gonna have to do the four sides as far as your support does not to interfere with your knee room. Yeah, we're gonna just. That's what I'm well, thinking. No, I was thinking is. instead of going here like you're talking, go here, there, there, and there. That way you've got your support that's holding your table up between your legs. Well, how about one and leg? You've got more room to move your knees. Two around. legs here. That's and one leg saying, here. Like a tripod. Is that what you're saying? Either Three a legs. tripod yeah. or put one here. One in the middle of your legs. One no, in that's the middle of your work. legs. No, oh, that's too much. No, nope. three legs. Yep, that'll work. Three right, legs. Like yeah, just something legs. to keep it so you can slide your legs out. Because yep. with this here, it's going to be a pain to try three and move legs. that around. Yep, I like that. Three legs. Now, actually, it's too bad I didn't go to the dollar store earlier. Maybe we should build it so I can um, hinge it later. That'd be the ultimate. It's not uh, 24 this way. It's longer than 24. No, but the legs. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's yeah, that works. Twenty-four inches tall. Yeah. Yeah. The legs will fold up underneath. You can do that too. Yeah. Yep. 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 Well, I'll leave it to you. You're the expert. Oh boy. <laughs> we'll give him titles he didn't deserve now. Yeah. <coughs> I just said I play with wood. I never said I was expert. Right. Yeah. All set up already. Yeah. All right. Well, get yourself get out of here. Making yourself a home in here. Oh, I love it. Might move out of the RV. Oh yeah, that'll make a video. <laughs> All my electronics and tools and gear here. I'm uh, setting this up. I got my battery terminals now. I'm gonna have to get the right size wrench for that though. Later, I want to get some battery uh, terminal goop to protect these properly. Plus to plus, minus to minus. I've got a miniature solar charge controller off eBay I had for years now, hooked up to my little battery, a little 5 watt charge solar panel I've had for years, which is going to be put back into my sink for my solar powered uh, sink hookup. And it all works. It's not pretty right now because I just put it together, but it works. My friend Joe Guyver hooked us up with a uh, terminal strip. All I gotta do is put screws in right through the wood to uh, this is my negative terminal strip, and then I got my fuse block, so everything is gonna be done properly here and safe. Running around like you, you know where it went. Well, I got my solar charge controller, and actually it's still pulling in some power, although it's pretty dark out. That's a good panel. And I've got my negative bus bar, my fuse block, I got my cigarette lighter adapter, which that should go off in a minute. It's got quite a capacitor in there, is it because it's plugged into the phone? Yeah, it was plugged into the phone, it was pulling light. How amazing is that? Got my, uh, my, um, cigarette lighter. Charged my cell phone. Everything works. Charging. That's all I focus. Anyway, uh, that's all cool. So I've got a 20 amp fuse inside here, or hooked up to here. That's a 20 amp fuse behind there. And, um, let's see, do we have some light? Look at that. We've got light hooked up. I'm going to change that to an LED later, but that shows you a little bit of the uh, crazy mess we got to clean up now. Look at all that stuff. Wow. Well, wow. we did it. Function? That's cool. That is really cool. Well, thank you, and thank you. No problem. Oh, by the way, we have a table to try out yet, don't we? Oh, I guess so. Oh, this is curious. There's a uh, interesting uh, device here. All right, well, let's get these tools out of the way real quick, and we'll put up this table and see how it looks. Looks cozy in there. Well, Joe, we're going to see if your work paid off. 
You want to go try out your new table? I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. You don't sound too excited. Well, where's the cards? Yeah, this is going to work. I like it. Got a little um, bedroom. Little might put room. a little board on the bottom of them legs yep. because the bed of the truck, the bed liner, is, makes it wobbly. But otherwise, right. it's going to be all right. Yeah, just put a T-bar there. Make it a little T. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the backside is really going to be fine. Yeah, just a little bit on the front, and we're good. And I got leg room. I got plenty of leg and room. And then this thing just, this bar just pops up. We got the bar comes up, and then and it folds one. down. And if oh, that is cool. That is really cool. We got the wrong one. We got the wrong notch. Yeah. That is really neat. Wow. Good job. Thank you. No problem. Well, I think I've got almost everything I need in. I've got my power charging station. My phone is going to be charged. It's charging right now, actually. Yep, my phone is charging. Um, I'll be able to sit here with my laptop. I can sit here and have dinner with my friend, play cards. Yeah. Um, it's pretty comfortable. Get out of the weather. Well, thank you both. You're very welcome. It was a good uh, good weekend. Very good weekend. Got me out of the house, gave me something to do. Yeah, why don't you hop in here and see what it's like with the three of us. There's plenty of room, I think, for we can play cards. You can actually go this way. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's probably about right. right. You get three guys perfect. and you're eating food in No, this is great. Yeah, I mean, you know? it's a little close on this side, probably elbow bumping at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Don't put a righty and a lefty on this side, you'll be all right. I'm left, so I'm good right here. I'm right, so yeah, look at that. Amazing. Yeah. Well, there's my ultimate survival bug out vehicle. I've got uh, a friend's going to come with me for a four or five day trip into the middle of the mountains. Um, it's just a wooded area surrounded by nothing but trees, and there's nothing on the property but trees itself. Got a couple chairs. This is going to give you an idea how it's how to look. And this is basically the finished bug out shelter. Um, I just have to pack my gear in here, but I wanted to show you the what the bug out shelter looks like as is. I've got a couple camp chairs sitting here. I've got my nice comfortable water on demand sink that's uh, solar powered. I, when I'm at camp, I hang up the rack and hang the solar panel on the side. Right now it's in uh, mobile mode. I'm just demonstrating here got the comfortable composting toilet ready to roll I've got my electronics control station here with the solar charge controller negative bus bar made out of a copper pipe positive fuse box cigarette lighter plug for accessory power I've got the um, this is my removable removable two-part bed uh, my collapsible folding table, extra bench on the side, got my shelf in the back there which is also removable and can be slid around anywhere I like. My um, extra battery jump starter there which I'm taking with me. Uh, I never leave home without it just for emergencies. And um, basically that's pretty much it for now. I've got my toolbox that always goes with my truck. and. I'm about to deck this out for the survival trip, but there is the ultimate survival bug out shelter with the accessories that we made on a weekend. Me and uh, two other guys, and there it is, bug out shelter made redneck style.